I'm Brock Purdy from Perry High School, senior quarterback. I want to thank all the colleges who have given me the opportunity to play at their program at the next level. Um, I'm very excited to take this next step. And my family and I have, you know, have dreamed of this since I was a little kid. I want to thank some people personally for uh, the decision and always being there for me, starting with my parents. Mom and Dad, I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything that you've done, being the rock in this whole thing, my foundation. Uh, without you guys, I'm not here today, and you guys have molded me into the person I am, both on the field, off the field. And I love you guys so much. And I play for you guys, I live for you guys, and everything that I've done in life is because of you guys. So thank you. Thank you, Chubba, Whitney, my brother and sister. Um, you guys are amazing. You guys are my number one supporters, and everything that I do is for you guys as well. You guys are always around me, you know who I am and the person I've become. And I just thank you for all your support. I love you guys and God bless you. I want to thank the Patchets as well, JP, Mo, Jared, you guys are my second family. Without you guys, you know, I don't have all the support and help from the community. You guys have been a big help for me. Um, again, you guys are my second family and without you, I'm not here today. So thank you guys and I love you guys. I want to thank the Holdridges, the Tambonis, uh, everyone that has touched my life, my family's life, um, without you guys, we're nothing. Uh, the Medinas, love you guys. Thank you for everything. The Furmans, um, so I mean, the list goes on and on. You guys know who you are. The Hatches, love you guys so much. And thank you again for everything that you've done in my life. I want to take some time to thank all the people that don't get enough recognition as they should. Um, starting with the coaches, Coach Jones, you've molded me into the man I am on and off the field. I've learned so much about life and discipline through you. And uh, so I'm very, very thankful for you in my life, uh, as well as my teammates are. Um, so thank you for everything. Thank you for the awesome faculty, uh, and the staff at Perry High School, from teachers to the front, off, front office ladies, uh, the janitors, the custodians, everybody, the security guards, love you guys. Thank you for everything. Um, you guys have just been great to my family and I for the past four years. My youth coaches, I want to take a minute to acknowledge you guys, um, starting from Coach Dobbs, Coach Bear, Coach Gardner. You guys have done an amazing job in raising young men um, into you know, the men that they are in, the, in this world. And we need more of you guys out there. And I'm so thankful for you guys in my life. You've taught me so much from stuff on the football field to you know, how to act in person to parents and family members. The list goes on and on. So I thank you guys for everything that you've done. Um, as well as Coach Budson, my freshman head coach. You've done an amazing job of you know, starting the Perry Pumas young and developing to when they get to varsity, they're ready to go. So thank you, Coach Butson. You'll always be one of my favorite coaches, and I love you, and thank you for everything. My journey started from eighth grade going into my freshman year at Perry High School. I knew a good majority of the kids going in, and I saw a vision that we'd be able to go in and get things going at Perry High School. And I knew that Coach Jones has had an amazing history of coaching great teams, great players, and he's a great coach disciplinary wise. And, um, you know, he's a great man. He develops men in their character. So I knew that going into my freshman year, we'd be able to do some great things with all the teammates and the brothers that I had surrounding myself. And, you know, going to Perry, made some history, went to semifinals for the first time, went to state championship for the first time. So I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else in uh, this community, staff, everybody, the students, the student body, you guys are amazing. I wouldn't want to play for anyone else. Uh, every time I stepped on the field, I went to war with you guys, went to war for you guys. So wherever I go in this journey, you guys are coming with me. So I love you guys, and again, I'm thankful for everything. The college recruiting process has been crazy for my family and I. Um, I'm very thankful for you know what has happened. Uh, two months ago, you know, I wasn't getting the severe interest that I have you know now in the past month or so. But I mean, it's just been crazy. Um, you know, a lot of people doubt you for everything, uh, size, speed, arm strength, whatever it is, what position you play. Um, you know, I've just learned a lot of life lessons through this, and I knew that through the Lord and my faith that something would open up um, and colleges would start taking interest, and it has. And I've been so thankful and blessed with family members, friends, coaches, amazing support uh, throughout the way. So I'm very thankful for all you guys who have helped me throughout this process. And um, to all the kids, you know, who aren't getting a lot of looks, it's not over till it's over. I can tell you guys that. Um, just have strong character. Be positive through everything that you guys do. Um, you know, and good things will happen to good people and things will open up. Earlier I mentioned my faith. I just want to take some time to recap on that a little bit. Um, my family and I are very strong in the, in the word with Jesus Christ and without him, none of this is possible. 
Um, again, the process has been crazy and everything, but every night, you know, I get on my knees and pray to the Lord, and I know that something would open up for His plan and His glory. Uh, I try to use this platform as best as I can for Him. Uh, this life is for Him, and um, without Him, none of this is possible. To make my decision, I had to take some trips, starting off with Boise State. My family and I love the staff, love the city of Boise, love the facilities. Everything about that trip was awesome, and we'll remember it forever. After Boise, my family and I headed up to Iowa State. It was an amazing campus, amazing coaching staff. Their vision to win a national title in the Big 12 Conference is just second to none. We loved every moment of it, from going to basketball games, chanting my name. It was amazing, and I just felt at home on the visit. It was a very neat, neat experience. So right after heading home from Ames, Iowa, my father and I flew out to Central Florida. We enjoyed every bit of it. Coach Heupel and his new staff coming in after UCF finishing with the 13-0 season. It was very neat to see. Everything about Central Florida was amazing. The campus was awesome. The first night, my host took me out hog hunting. It was this amazing experience. I loved every moment of it. From Central Florida, my father and I flew to Tuscaloosa where we met my mother and my brother. We had an amazing visit at Alabama. Coach Saban and his staff were just great. Great people in general, great character. Smart offensively, it's a system that I would love to be in and fit. Everything about Alabama was amazing. College campus, facilities, and again, the staff. Everything about it we love. From Tuscaloosa, my family and I flew back home. We started to narrow things down and make a decision. Then Coach Mazzoni from U of A came over, did a home visit. Coach Dickey from Texas A&M came over, did a home visit. So I sort of got my mind uh, flown with new interests. And my family and I decided to take my fifth interest to Texas A&M. Everything about Texas A&M was awesome. The coaching staff's amazing. The facilities were great. Everything in the college station is just simply cool. It's a very neat place to be and play college football. My family and I got home from the trip at Texas A&M. We started to talk about the pros and cons of every college and where I was gonna go. And at the end of the day, I knew where my heart was set. I prayed about it long and hard. Talked to family, friends, coaches, mentors, everybody. And at the end of the day, my heart is in Ames, Iowa, at Iowa State University. The reason why I chose Iowa State is Coach Campbell and his staff and their vision. Uh, it's a young coaching staff, and I want to be a part of some history. They got amazing stuff rolling on. The fan base is unreal there. I want to be a part of you know, Ames and, and the college town at Iowa State. My family and I are all for it. Uh, super excited to get there this summer. Again, thank you guys for everything you've done. The whole state of Arizona has been an amazing support for my family and I in making a decision. You guys have been awesome. I wouldn't want to play anywhere else and here at Gilbert for the Perry Pumas. I'm so excited for this next stage of my life. Go Cyclones and God bless.